watching Hooked with Dominique, I thought I would show you how simple the rigid heddle loom is to operate and the great benefits to be reaped from just doing plain weave. The rigid heddle loom has two positions. There's the up position and the down position, which creates opposite sheds just to do a simple plain weave and with different types of yarn combinations you can get really varied results for example here i've got i'm using this solid color darker kind of shiny yarn as the weft and the warp is a self-striping yarn it's kind of powdery soft so i think they complement each other nicely but i've really enjoyed playing around with different types of yarns together this is the exact same yarn as weft and warp creates a really interesting effect. You really cannot tell by looking at the ball of yarn what it's going to look like. This was also the same warp and weft. That's a nice subtle. So you can see that the, the weft striping is really gradual and unnoticeable, but the warp you do see the striping more. It's kind of a neat effect. And also, this one is really nice. Here, with just, this was a uh, striped warp. And then I used um, a pale sock. Th these are both sock yarns. So you can see here what the warp was. And then I just used a pale blue for the weft. So it really brings out the, the striping. It's quite nice. And then I also um, tried doing sayori weaving for a bit, which is really fun. It's like intuitive weaving where you're just grabbing threads or yarns, different random yarns as you go deciding intuitively which direction to go next. And I also uh, modified this loom. You can see it if I tilt it down to you with dowels to turn it into a four shaft loom. So I like, I do love plain weave a lot and you can get a lot of enjoyment out of doing plain weave and it's the strongest, sturdiest stuff, but it's pretty neat to, uh, to be able to have the option to do more varied patterns. So here's one that I did using the uh, four shaft. I turned it into a little bag, but you can see the pattern variation that you can get. Just can be quite exciting. I mean, there's lots to choose from, but uh, fortunately, I have this book. This was, uh, I took a weaving class uh, for four shaft loom uh, in 2013. And so I do have this book showing so many, so many different types of uh, weaves that you can get. So, great book. Yeah. So, this is actually an Ashford loom. It's 24 inches wide. And I'm pretty happy with it. I'm not sorry that I didn't get the, the bigger one. Because what I like so much about this loom is that you can let it just lean against the edge of your table. Like I have here. I don't know if you can see that, but it has some ridges. See that? You can just place it against the table and tilt it down towards you and sit on a chair. I think that's very comfortable. I think it costs about $175 to order the Ashford 
uh, loom stand that comes with it, but I don't think that's necessary with the 24 inch. So, um, yeah, this is the Ashford Rigid Heddle Loom. And there's so much to learn by going on to Facebook groups, online. There's excellent uh, teachers for Rigid Heddle Loom Weaving to learn the basics and how to get good edging. It's uh, In the beginning, it's very hard to get a nice straight edge. So there's little te techniques you can use to pinch the corners, tilt it on an angle before you beat. And really, all you gotta do is buy the loom, have a little chutzpah to jump in and try stuff out. And next thing you know, in a matter of time, you're weaving all kinds of things. I've made sweaters. I was telling my girlfriend that it takes like what, a month to knit a sweater? You can um, weave up the, the material you need for a sweater in four days, you know, evenings if you're working during the day. And then uh, sew it all together in an afternoon. So I really like also how, f how fine the fabric is that you get out of it. I mean, you can use I'm using a seven and a half dent heddle right here, but you can use finer heddles also and finer yarn to make finer fabrics or thicker, but it's just, it drapes so nice and it hangs nice on your body. It's just knitting, which I've done for 20 years, now seems actually kind of bulky to me. So I really, really like what you get with a plain weave. For, for wearable garments. Yeah, and I have, um, this one I'm, is going to have um, a ruffle. So I'm gonna do a shawl. And then this is going to be, I'm gonna do about a five inch strip of just this. Uh, I think I'm gonna do it in twill, which is supposed to be quite drapey. So I'm gonna be using my uh, modification to do a twill. And I, I bought this cute little uh, shuttle off of Amazon because if you're going to do a narrow piece and you want to have a nice little cute shuttle. Yeah, and then it's great. What you do then is so you make that, that thinner piece and then you just take one of the warp threads near the end after it's all done and you pull it tight and you cinch it and then you get a ruffle. And then you just, uh, so you have to make sure that you weave the, the ruffle strip a lot longer than your, than your shawl length. And it's, um, it's pretty fun because it creates a real dramatic effect. I have one for sale on my website, hookthedominique.com. But I want to make more like spring, spring wear ones for people that are wanting to wear some nice spring colors. And that's how easy it is to advance the warp and it actually goes so fast once you have it warped up which also becomes pretty quick after you've done it a few times so I like it you know when you, in a busy world that we have today it's best to just do some sort of uh, crafting that gives you fast results that you can quickly make garments from always can uh, make a nice gift for someone as a going away present and it's special because it's actually like hand woven made by you specifically for that person it's actually quite meditative too so i love my loom and it's so much less complicated than those uh the four and up shaft looms that I started on. It's so simple and it's so rewarding. So I definitely re recommend getting one if you've been thinking about it.
and I'm just going to happily weave on here and make some nice progress. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.